Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of June of 2018. Um, big, big announcement. If you haven't heard it already, I'm giving away 12 tarot card readings, <clears throat> one per zodiac sign. So all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below on this video in order to participate in the drawing of 12 free tarot card readings. So you can comment on this video, you can comment on your moon, your rising, whatever sign, if you're cross watching. You can comment on however many videos as you want to be entered to draw. I'm going to put them in a random kind of um, a selector, and I will be doing that on June 15th. All right, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment. But let's see what's going on here. So um, when I was shuffling the cards, I got look on the bright side, all right, and it's going to kind of flow through here a little bit. Um, in the beginning of the month of June, you've got the Two of Pentacles, You've got the world, you've got the page of cups reversed, okay? You've got two reversed cards in here, which I usually don't do reversed, so they popped up reversed, so I'm going to read them like that. And then you've got the seven of swords. So, to me, I feel like you're juggling a lot. It's like these two cards together, it's like the two of pentacles and the world. So it's like you're juggling a lot, and I feel like you're juggling a lot and putting a lot on your plate, um... But it's like victory. It's like getting you where you want. It's getting you, it's like success, right? So it's like, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not like, oh, you need to calm down or anything. It's, it's a good thing. Um, but I feel like there's a lack of offer. Um, and it's like you, with the seven of swords here, it's like you're going to leave something. Oh, that got a little blurry. Let's see if we can get it into focus. Um, you know, this is kind of about like distrust, uh, leaving something behind. You can see like he's got his swords, but he's left one behind. Um, this is a little bit of shadiness to me. All right. So, you know, the page of cups being reversed upright. The page of cups is about bringing in like a love offer, a relationship. But with it being reversed, I feel like it's delayed. It's not coming. Um, and while you're waiting, it's like you feel like you can't trust it. It maybe is never going to come. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, or it's delayed and you're feeling like it's never going to come. Um, it's not going to happen, that type of thing. So I feel like you're distrusting. Um, towards the middle of the month though, I feel like you're, you make a decision. And if you've been holding on to something for so long, waiting for something to come, I feel like in the middle of the month of June, you're kind of going to let that go. Because you've got the page of wands, and I always see this card as like listening to the birds, seeing the happier side of life. And then you've got the judgment card, which it's like, hallelujah, it's about time that I make this decision and I give something up. And then you've got the six of wands, which is to me is about recognition. And then you've got the five of cups. So it's like you've got three cups that have been spilt and you're, you've got the two in your hands. So all in all, to me, in the middle of the month of June, it's like, you're going to start to see the brighter side. Oh, look at there. Uh, the brighter side of things. And you're going to make that decision to kind of move forward. And you're going to recognize that either you're worth more than this or they're not worth your time. Um, you know, however, this is general reading. So however it resonates with you, whatever you've been waiting for, I think you're finally in the middle of the month of June going to realize that either it's not coming and you don't care anymore um, or it's not worth waiting for. All right. And then you've got the five of cups and, you know, that's a little bit about regret looking at the past, but you've got the two full cups in your hand. So we need to go forward and focus on that. And I believe you're going to do that because by the end of the month, you've got the hermit card, which is about going inside and really kind of learning yourself, learning everything that you've been through and healing, um, learning about your emotional triggers, which I have a YouTube video on that about like what gets to you, like why do you kind of like... Um, blow up. All right. And then you've got the five of swords reversed. So, and then you've got the chariot and then I'll get to the other two cards. So this is telling me that it's like you're going inside. And when you do that, you're going to learn a lot about yourself that is going to leave you. Um, I feel like you're always on the defense. Like if somebody says something to you, um, it's like you're defenseful, you're defensive because you haven't really healed the parts of you from childhood or growing up, where, wherever it came from. You haven't healed those parts. So when somebody 
gives you a criticism or um, you know says something and maybe it doesn't even have to do it with you but like you take it personally I feel like you're gonna start to move through that because you got the chariot and that's all about moving forward but not without effort and then you have the four of Pentacles which a little confused me a little bit so I did clarify the card because this is about not trusting and I'm getting that you're not trusting the process here like I feel as though you're you're going to think like it's going to be too much work, like I can never get through this, it's never going to happen for me, uh, I'm never going to be peaceful, I'm never going to be that happy person that I want to be. Um, it's like a little bit of mistrust in the universe and the process. And then, so I clarified that, I said, why is this here? And then you've got the magician, which just makes me laugh, because this is about having it within you to manifest anything that you want. So the distrust is not, it shouldn't be here. So whatever you're feeling and that trust of, the universe, trust of the process, trust of healing, like you need to let that go because it is, you do have it within yourself to get to where you want to be, okay? Um, you also have over here, you've got the power animal, okay? It says your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with the situation, right? So you've got your animal, you got your spirit guides around you, um, and then you have goddess, and it says, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. And I feel a lot of that is going to come in the middle of June to the end of June when you really start to kind of recognize that you're worthy and you're worth more than what you've been putting up with. And, you know, you're going to realize that your spirit guides are around. I always, you know, encourage you to talk to your spirit guides, especially before you go to bed, because a lot of healing is done when you're sleeping in dreams, um, in that state in between. Uh, so you can follow me on Facebook if you want to know what I'm talking about. But, um... You know, they're around, their angels are around, The um, that your spirit guides are around, like, and you're connected. So with that ma magician here and the hermit, like, you're going to find out that you've got your intuition and it's on point, but you've just not been listening to it, okay? Now, um, I have been pulling vampire cards for um, the less vampires, uh, for some of the zodiac signs that I've been drawn to pull vampire cards. Usually I'm only pulling one. For you guys, I got the message to pull two. So these are the vampire cards. These are the only cards that I read from the book because I think the message is so powerful. Um, so the first one that was pulled was call for help. And it says, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. So I'm just going to read. So please be patient because I really think that these messages are really um, inspiring and uh, like powerful. So it's just a little bit, and then I'm going to read the second card as well, but I think you'll enjoy the, the message here. So it says, for the call for help, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. And it says, often you humans have an unearing ability to sense when we are around, when there is danger, when there is something not quite right, something amiss, and yet over and over you smother this feeling, this intuitive gift you all have. It may have been educated out of you. It may have been taken it, or suppressed. You may have been taught to feel ashamed of it. It may also have been an indulged and overstimulated that it is now a lazy muscle, a nonsense sense. At, but at this time, you are able to discern when there is a shift in the atmosphere, when something is about or around you. It is presentience and it is clear. And when this card comes to you, we say your senses are correct. They are natural and they are good. And it is time to share this feeling with a trusted friend or person in authority who can help you. It is time to remove yourself from an atmosphere of danger, to understand that you are not weak for seeking help and that further confirmation is not required. All you need to do is ask for assistance and it will come. No more looking over your shoulder. No more doubting your very real, very worthwhile sixth sense. Trust it and take steps to make yourself safe and comfortable. Remove untrustworthy people. Be cautious in your dealings. Lift your shields and stand with an ally and friend. Do not allow your innocence to create a dangerous moment for you, for someone is waiting for you to drop your guard. Do not let it be now. Dare to take your own premonition seriously. The blessing of this card, it is wonderful to have foreknowledge when you need to work with protection and shielding. This will help you immensely. The curse of the card, feeling hurt and attacked, weakened and like a victim, and how you work with this card. Protect yourself by clearing your space and working with shielding technique that works for you. Simply visualize yourself completely surrounded by a sphere shaped field of soft white energy. Within this, you are safe and protected. Nothing harmful can reach you through this. Affirm you are safe and well and take steps to strengthen your body, mind and spirit. 
dare to try something unusual and innovative. It might just work. So this is, if you need help with this decision, you know, to leave something behind, to move forward, to ask for help, ask for help from your spirit guides, ask for help from the angels. Like they can't interfere until you ask for their help. I am very strong, um, believer in asking your spirit guides for help. I really do believe I do it every night before I go to bed. And believe me, the dreams that I have are um, amazing and, and healing. All right. So um, the, the next card you have is eternal youth. And it says energy, newness, and vitality. And this is what it reads. The quest to remain young has never been more fervent than in your time. Everywhere we and you look, you will observe the obsession with being and remaining lineless. Yet there are those who are young in their face and body, who are withered with age within their souls. Youthfulness cannot be found so much in the unwrinkled face and the muscle without atrophy. The, truth you, the true youth is the one who never ceases to look at the world with wonder. The truly youthful human is the one who moves, breathes, and lives with delight and furfure, with a sense of discovery. Those who have accepted imprisonment order, stasis, and the inevitably of slow corruption who no longer engage the gifts of the mind and the body, as well as those whose spirits feel tired and jaded, who endlessly complain about aging and who compare themselves to images created by technology are old before they need be. For less vampires, yes, we seem to stay young, but we merely look young. On the inside, we are often ancient. And because of this long life, so many of us fall victim to our own cynicism. Beware the enemies of your wellness and youthfulness, which have nothing to do with the venerated age, are a disengaged mind, body, heart, and soul. Gather up your determination and do not atrophy. You can be eternally youthful by caring for yourself. This does not mean attempting to reverse aging. It means embracing life. It means exploring the potential of your body and what it can do. It means doing what you love, not necessarily what is age appropriate. It means having an attitude of joyful investigation into life. It means we see again and again that those with curiosity for adventure and renewal are those who are youthful, even into their most vintage of years. Do not waste your human youth. Do not waste any of this blessed life you have been given. The blessing of the card. You are about to be rejuvenated and filled with energy and potential. You will look and feel very well and your health will be vital. You will be very attractive and people will be drawn to your youthful, free spirit and optimism. The curse. Tired, feeling old and worn. Feeling devalued by a society which revers, reveres youthful appearances. Wondering where your youth has gone, regrets about your younger years, depleted energy. How you work with this card. Explore the blessings of the body and the mind. It is time to discover what your body can do and to instigate a transformation. It is time to give in to what you love and to make it a larger part of your life. It is time to eat well, drink deeply of water, and connect with new people. It is time to love being alive, for that drinking deep from the cup of life is the true fountain of youth. All right, sorry that that was so long, and sorry for my mis mispronunciations. English is not my um, strong suit. But what I think it is saying is exactly what's happening here about moving forward, knowing who you are, letting, like letting go of the society beliefs of that you've got to look perfect, you've got to be skinny, you've got to, you know, like, you know, all the stuff that people are doing with their faces and getting everything changed, like, trying to look younger will actually make you look older. And if you want to look younger, it's really kind of reviving your soul that will do the trick. It's using your body for things that make you happy and, and healthy and not trying to look a certain way, but to feel a certain way. And hopefully that energy is coming your way, especially at the end of this month when you are going to really go inside yourself and start to feel that rejuvenation, that energy, that optimism come your way. Okay, so that is it. So thank you so much for watching and please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button for me too if you like the video and make sure you comment below in order to get entered in the drawing for the free tarot card reading. All right, thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.